Imagine someone writes you a letter and they tell you something very important. Say for example, your wife writes you a letter. I'm giving you an example, obviously, which is something for me and you to understand. If your wife writes you a letter, for example, and the postman comes to you and he gives you the letter, and you read it and you start kissing the postman, Allahu Akbar. Can you say, oh, I love my wife so much. Come, thank you so much. And you begin to kiss the postman. The postman will tell you, what's your problem? I am just a postman. I delivered the message from your wife to you. Bus. That is all I did. So if there is anything kind written in the letter, you need to reply straight to your wife. Subhanallah. I think none of us would ever kiss the postman. I think none of us would ever kiss the postman. But why is it that we understand it regarding a postman and a letter that has just come in the example I gave you? But Allah's example is far higher than that. We respect the Nabi because he did the job. He definitely fulfilled the, the task that Allah gave him and he has conveyed the message and he has been genuine and sincere towards the entire Ummah. But we do not render an act of worship for him. If that was the case, what makes us different from the Hindus and the Christians who begin to worship various things? And if you ask them, they say, we believe in one above, but we worship others in the process. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala safeguard us.